Good morning. Well, like, good afternoon. We look kind of rough, but Mama does. We got some makeup on from yesterday. Huh? You see yourself? Maybe we should get ready before we start the vlog today because. Yeah. Okay, see you in like five minutes. Okay, that was not five minutes. It's been a few hours since that last clip. Uh, the baby and I actually went to Target because I needed some stuff. And then I went to go get my mom's car wash because she comes home tomorrow. She was in Alaska for a week and I've been driving her car. So I wanted to clean it. So I went to do that. Of course, AC is going to go on. Hopefully it's not loud. And then we went to Target. Um, I was gonna show you guys what I got, but I think I wanna make this video more into like a baby update because I didn't do a three month update or a four month update on Amelia. Um, and obviously I want to keep documenting her life and sharing it with you guys and for me also. And Adrian as well, this is falling. <laughs> so she just turned four months three days ago, which is insane you guys insane like where is my little baby going she's just growing up so fast and it's so sad because obviously like she's doing so many new things and i want adrian to be here to see it but obviously like that's not the case and he is deployed but we facetime him every day like multiple times a day and we're able to talk to him so that's nice and he gets to see everything i video it for him and i do send him like a ton of stuff and pictures it's not like he's missing out it's just like it sucks like it's different obviously because he's not physically here we only have a few more months to go and he'll be part of our daily lives again we miss him so so much and it's already been it's gonna be already almost two months since we've left him it hasn't been two months since he's deployed but it's been two months since we left him almost two months since we left him that's also insane because time is just going by so fast and like i said like amelia is growing up way too fast thankful that this deployment is going somewhat fast i think quarantine kind of makes it difficult because we are seeing family and such and going to some stores but it's not like we're going to do like activities or anything i mean what could i do with the baby anyways but i don't know it's just different very different so back to her update well she's in like zero to three clothes still it's so di it's weird because like some brands she's in zero to three three months some three to six but she's mainly in like zero to three to three months she is so chunky she is so so chunky on her butt and her legs so a lot of her clothes fit her on like the butt part and the um her legs but on her top like tap top half of her body they're so big on her like her shoulders like the shirt is like lifting up in the back or on her shoulders so it's difficult trying to dress her in clothes that actually fit her she's in size two diaper she's been in size two maybe since right before we left germany so two and a half months i think so she's still in two size size two diapers she is i think she's teething i think i said this in her two month update because she started sucking on her hands well now she's sucking on her hands even more and then she's sucking on like whoever holds her she sucks on like the shoulder and then she'll try to like grab her hands to suck on them she's also like grabbing things that are in front of her which is new so i would consider that like towards four month update i guess she's grabbing like things and she puts that in her mouth <laughs> she's really good at grabbing things which i'm like so shocked because she just started doing that out of nowhere she hates tummy time she hates hates tummy times obviously i try to put her on her stomach a couple times a day even though she doesn't like it she has really good neck control um but she can't like hold it for up for too long but i tried to like when i hold her she's able to lift it up and everything but it's just like not steady i guess i don't know so she's good at that when she's on her stomach she is able to lift up her head she is lazy you guys when she's like laying on my chest she's like looking everywhere turning her head and she's just really good at that but when when it comes to her stomach and lifting up her head she's so lazy she's dead in a couple times but it's she gets lazy and just doesn't want to lift it up and she'll just suck on whatever she's laying on because she just likes doing that you can see her little tongue going 
<laughs> so it's so funny. She started scooching. Is that the word? Scooting? Scooching? Scooching? Scooting? Is that the word? I don't know if that's the word. Yeah, scooching. I noticed at her four month doctor's appointment, she was on the little bed. She was laying on it and with the paper on the laying down, she noticed like the sound of it. And she has a bunch of toys that make that sound and her play mat makes that sound too. But I don't know, maybe because it was harder surface, she started like scooching herself. I noticed I was taking pictures of her and she was like moving herself up. So she's super strong. She loves to kick, you guys. She can kick. She has this little ball on her play mat hanging and she kicks it all day long. Not all day when we lay her down on it. And then she kicks with whatever is in front of her like if she fills you she'll keep on like kicking 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 and it's so funny a few weeks ago my brother was talking to her and playing with her and he was like laying in front of her or not laying in front of her and she kicked him so hard like i was on my phone on the couch and i like saw it from the corner of my eye and i just see her foot like go back and just kick him super super hard it was so funny because he like even went back um from it so i think that's super hilarious she is still drinking breast milk i do breastfeed her as soon as i got here two and a half months almost three months i was having a lot of trouble with breastfeeding her i don't know if my supply just took a toll from just stress with traveling and everything and adrian deploying coming over here i don't know if it's just like a lot of stress on my body where i like my supply like went down a lot and i was struggling a little bit i think i don't know if i talked about this in my last video when i noticed that i started having some abdominal pain like really really bad pain in my stomach like right under my breast so like my ribs i don't know if that yeah my ribs like really really bad like worse than labor you guys like i had no pain meds during labor and this hurt so much like so much worse and like i like cried like i was crying and so my mom like my mom doesn't play games anymore so she's like go to the emergency room so it was like past midnight and she's like go to the emergency room so my brother ended up taking me and turned out i had gallstones you guys gallstones in my gallbladder like that was causing so much pain in my stomach it took a while for them to find it out because they have to take my blood run those urine and then they did an ultrasound as well and they found the gallstones they weren't too severe they were very small so they weren't going to do like surgery or anything or take them out or take my gallbladder out i just had to let them pass so my stomach hurt like that for a few days and it was the worst pain of my life you guys and so having to deal with that and breastfeed her it was such a struggle i ended up having to use my aunt's um breast milk so she has a huge sat she's like a over supplier and so she was kind enough to give me some of her milk it hurt so bad where i couldn't even hold her and just like it just hurt to breastfeed and then of course i would pump but it just wouldn't be enough because like i said it was just my supply was just getting low obviously like during those weeks like it was super hard too because obviously i want to breastfeed her and like that's what i want to do for at least a year or at least six months because i think there's like the bond is i don't know indescribable so obviously i want to do it for as long as i can i didn't want to go to the hospital because i didn't have a supply like i breastfeed her i didn't have like a milk stash in the fridge for my mom to give her and so that's when my aunt gave me some of her milk i would supplement with her milk as well as mine throughout the day and then after that i went to the doctors after the emergency room and they talked about my glow better getting removed obviously i don't want it to get it removed because there's a lot of like complications after i guess and i don't need that stress on my body even more so i said if i have another attack then i would get it out but i haven't had one since then and i pray that i never have one ever again because that pain you guys like pain is just not it i met with a lactation consultant i think i did talk about this in my last video and she came to the house and she told me that my supply was only like mildly low um and that she can help me boost my supply and then um fix amelia's latch because she does have a tongue tie so i met with her a few weeks ago and amelia is doing way better 
but I do notice like she is still having trouble latching on like it's still she still makes the clicking sound and so I mentioned it at her doctor's at her four month appointment and he did say that she did have a tongue tie like the lactation consultant said and he did get me a referral to an ENT so I'm going to schedule an appointment with them just for like a consult to see what they say and see how they do it and um, if they laser it off I think I'm gonna go that route and go ahead and do it because I heard with clipping that it can grow back so if I can get it lasered off I think I'm gonna just go ahead and do it now that she is little because I do know like when they get older like it's more painful for them so obviously I want to get that out of the way fast I am gonna meet with the lactation consultant a few more times to see if we can get it better but if not then I'm gonna go ahead and do that which is so sad like I hate seeing her get her shots and it's so sad to watch so go like having to see her go through that other pain I'm not ready for it but I heard it's like not that bad like obviously they cry but it won't they won't cry for too long and I just hope it works so we'll see with that I will update you guys if anything changes but with her what else is new she is not rolling over yet she should start rolling over soon I will put her on her side and she can do it um, roll her roll to her stomach but she can't do it really on her own so we are practicing with that every single day she is super strong like i'll put her on her legs and she can stand she's good at that she is still sleeping through the night you guys she sleeps so much during the night and i have to pump like multiple times because obviously i'm trying to boost my supply so if i don't pump in the middle of the night then that can affect me because i actually wasn't doing that i would pump at least once but i pump now like three times two to three times because she goes to sleep between like eight and ten and then wakes up between five and seven so obviously that's almost eight hours is that eight hours something like that of sleep um so i need to wake up and pump so it's not like i'm sleeping through the night like she is but it's fine as long as i get my supply up and it's all worth it to me also at her four month appointment she is weighing 12 pounds five ounces her appointment was on monday last monday and i had the lactation consultant come like two saturdays ago and she was weighing 11 pounds 15 ounces so she gained about six ounces within almost two weeks a week and a half i think it was which is good obviously she's gaining weight and she is getting milk but the lactation consultant did say like she should be getting like an ounce a day so i also supplement with um breast milk so whatever i pump in the night i give it to her during the day after i breastfeed her i give her an ounce to two ounces after she feeds off of me depending how she does with breastfeeding so most of the time i just give her an ounce and then if she's still hungry after then i will give her more i give her an ounce more but most of the time it's just an ounce and i know like she's satisfied after that and then i still feed her every three hours she is 24 inches long at birth she was 20 inches so she's grew four inches you guys she's so long and chunky it's so funny it is so cute she still has a lot of her hair she's not really losing it she was in germany i noticed like on her snuggle me she was losing a lot of hair but now now i don't really notice it on her snuggle me hopefully she doesn't <laughs> i am losing some of my hair you guys postpartum hair loss is really a thing but other than that i think that's pretty much it oh my gosh she laughs so much you guys she's just she's such a happy baby she wakes up happy in the mornings like sometimes she could just be sitting in her bassinet and i won't hear her because she doesn't cry so i'm like i wake up to hear her like laughing to, at herself or just like giggling or just making noises so like i wake up from that and i'm like how long have you been awake for it's funny because she just lays there I'm so excited for her to start like saying words because i want to hear her voice i think it's just gonna be the cutest thing i want her first word to be dada i know most like moms are like i want their first word to be mama but i want her first word to be dada because obviously he's gone right now and i think it'd be the cutest thing ever so hopefully in a couple months she says it i say it all the time like dada this is dada where's dada but she is just like so 
happy she only cries when she is like super hungry or she is super tired she can only hang for like an hour and a hour and a half and then she's ready to take a nap i do still kind of have her on a schedule routine during the day like she like I said, eats every three hours. She's been like that since a newborn. I feed her every three hours. And then she sleeps for an hour, hour and a half to two hours. And then she's awake for an hour to an hour and a half. And I do notice like if she's past the hour and a half, she will get grumpy. And I tell my family this all the time because they think it's kind of funny how I kind of have her on a schedule. Because like if we're out, I'm like, okay, like give me her so I can put her to sleep or like can I wrap her so you can put her to sleep or whatever? And they think it's so funny how I have her like that. But I'm like, if I let her waste like, um, be awake for five minutes, she's going to get grumpy and she will cry and I have to deal with her. Now, I don't have to deal with her. Like, she's my baby, obviously, and I don't want to hear her cry like that because she's tired. Um, I don't know. And so, like, that's happened a couple of times around family. And so I'm like, thanks, you guys things now i think they kind of know like how she is i just like having her better like on a routine slash schedule because it is better for her versus like her staying up to like two to three hours a day like i don't think that um little babies her age should be up for that long because obviously they need naps like, like they need to sleep um during the day so that's what i do every three hours <laughs> Another thing is she does touch her toes, so when I change her diaper, I notice her starting to touch her toes now, which is so cute because she's like, looks at them like, ooh, like, what are these things on me? So it's so funny. So, so funny. She is napping right now on the couch. That's why I keep look, looking back at her because she did fall asleep on the couch um, by herself. Oh, that's another thing. She, like, self-soothes herself, so I, I can put her down and give her a pacifier and she will fall asleep. She will literally fall asleep without me rocking her. And I think it's so sad because I love rocking her. Like, the, just, like, one-on-one -on -one time. More one-on-one -on -one time for me um, to put her to sleep. But sometimes, obviously, she lets me rock her. And then other times, she just, like... Like, I know she just wants to be laying down and just, like, fall asleep on her own. And then she still sleeps with her sound machine. I still use the Hatch Baby um, sound machine. But I need to buy a portable one because I do notice, like, when we're out, um, she needs, like, some type of sound for her, white noise or whatever. So I did find um, on Spotify this ocean because she does, like, the ocean sound. Found it on Spotify, and that's what I use when we're out. And she literally falls asleep in seconds. Literally, like, under a minute, she will fall asleep. And my family thinks that's so funny because I'm like, I'll try to put her to sleep like without it and she won't like she will not and as soon as i put it on she falls asleep instantly so i'm like thank you spotify so i'm gonna end today's video right there i hope you guys enjoyed her little update obviously i am going to do monthly updates i know i missed three months like i said in the beginning of the video but i'm not going to miss another update i promise so i hope you guys enjoyed and if you guys did make sure you guys give it a thumbs up make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and i'll see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>